One of the key things on the J3 on both versions is a subspin uh, flushing pump, and it's standard now. So as before, you'd need a high pressure pump to do that. So basically, they clean out the subspindle in between each kind of uh, operation to keep everything nice and clean. Uh, the other thing, we've got more light inside the machine, so it's great for the operators to see what they're doing, which is always a benefit. Uh... This machine lo looks like it's getting some attention straight away. This is quite nice, Matt. We get to see in the back of the machine. Can you explain what, what the camera um, is, is looking at? So this is uh, the business end of it all. So this is the sliding headstock here, and that's where all material goes through that side of things. And that's where the money, money starts getting made. OK, let's go to the front end then, Matt. Um, we're walking through now to the front end of this machine. Now, this is the SR32 J3 Type A. We've already reviewed the Type B. For people that are not familiar with Star Machines, what's the difference between Type A and Type B? So, on this particular model, it's purely just down to the number of tools for the subspindle. So, the Type B that you already saw, that had eight tools with a Y-axis. This one has no Y-axis, but it's and it's only got six tools. So, again, it's down to the complexity of the job that will determine which version the customer will go for. So, effectively, Matt, the Type B's got more capabilities. Yep, absolutely. So, if you were doing simpler parts that didn't require the amount of tools, you would most likely go for the Type A, unless you were future-proof in your business. Exactly that. Yeah. But if you were making your own parts, the Type Type A uh, would be perfect, I assume. Yeah, that's it. Exactly that. Yeah. Um, any other features or add-ons that you, you can you can have with this particular model? Again, I love, I'm loving the ergonomics. I'm loving the big window. Um, talk us through some of the added benefits. I know we've already reviewed um, the Type B, but anything else that I've missed? Yeah, so one of the key things on the J3 on both versions is a subspindle uh, flushing pump. It's standard now. So as before, you'd need a high-pressure pump to do that. So Basically, they clean out the subspindle in between each kind of uh, operation to keep everything nice and clean. Uh, the other thing, we've got more light inside the machine, so it's great for the operators to see what they're doing, which is always a benefit. Um, the other thing as well, we've got a jig in there, which has been upgraded from the previous generation of this machine to make going between guy bush and non-guy bush a lot quicker and easier. Well, thanks for that, Matt. And also, it looks quite a beefy machine. What about the weight and, and, and the torque of the spindles? Oh, yeah, so this is a hefty machine. It comes in just over four tonnes. It's very heavy. And I believe I've got a part that someone's passed me in my hand. It's a bit tricky. Um, can you talk us through that part? Yeah, you can see this. It's a great part. You see the amount of material that's been taken off. Obviously, you can see like the mill features, a lot of turning. You see the feet, surface finish of the part as well. So it's part of one of our giveaways. The Star 2D2, so you'll get to see the finished product a bit later on. Brilliant stuff.